Greetings Earthlings, this is Caleb Leverett and today I'm going to talk about the groups of people who scorched my world and the individuals over the years who have helped me. I'm out here in my favorite thinking spot and today is Independence Day and as usual I am by myself in this solemn little place where I love to come and think because it is, it is so quiet. And as usual, what spawns a lot of the videos that I do lately is after I go bathe my glorious naked body, to quote Rush Limbaugh, in the ocean, I spent a lot more time in my boat, did some cleanup, and as usual, go through various social media namely Facebook and as predicted as usual on these holidays everyone's real into the spirit and today being Independence Day people are really into the spirit of this independence and some people cook out some people get political with it some people more people like me couldn't care less about this holiday or any other holiday because they're all the same because <laughs> there's a lot of people out there that are just as jaded as am I. But watching all the Facebook posts today, there's a common theme around Independence Day and you got the pro-gun people and the anti-this and pro-that and blah blah blah. It goes back and forth and back and forth. And there's, as I've talked about before on my news feed, there's generally three different groups of people that are friends, Facebook friends, with me on my feed and other social media, but mostly Facebook. There's the people I grew up with in my hometown, went to school with, family, personal friends, that sort of thing. That's one group. And there's another group, is all the people who uh, found me because of my activism and, of course, my backwards uh, libertarian goofy friends. My, uh, about the only, like I've said before, friends or uh, family that I've got uh, outside of my children. But the people who find me on Facebook or on my activism and then look me up on Facebook and other. And, Instagram, whatever. I've talked about this a long time ago, but it, it's coming to a head again, and I just want to go back and at least now that I'm sober, almost a year, August 21st will be one year, I want to get into a little more clarity, not necessarily more detail, in fact, maybe less detail, but certainly more clear. I was born and raised in Ector County, Texas. Well, technically Andrews was where I was born. Mom didn't like the doctors, so I'm told that Easter Sunday back in 1977, so she drove in a county north, you know, closer to where her family was from, and had me. Anyway, I was raised in Odessa, which resides in Ector County. Ector County, Texas, is a very much a Republican place safe bet, real safe bet, easy 75% of the people there are like-minded in the, in the realms of being Republican. And for the most part, that is where the majority of my activism took place outside of, you know, when uh, the kids were moved against my will to San Antonio uh, during the Blaine saga. Um, anyways, a lot of people find me there and You know, some people hate me, and that's okay. Some people are going to hate me, like I've said many times, no matter what I say or do. But I, I, have, to, I have to correct the record. As I know a lot of people, obviously, who have been dealt a raw deal from the family court system is bad, if not in some cases, much worse than even me. A lot of those people, and I mean a bunch of those people, happen to be in Texas. People that not only have I known, you know, Facebook friends with, but 
you know, I've met a lot of these people in person. I know them. And if I haven't met them in person, we know mutual people, mutual, we have mutual friends. The main thing we have in common is how we get screwed in the family court system in Texas. And how I'm, I'm tying this together with Independence Day and people's opinions and how they view the world and I was raised in a Republican family, that's no secret. I was raised in a Christian Baptist family, that's no secret. What's also not a secret is I do not associate with either of those groups and haven't for a very long time. That day, back in August of 2013, I'd already been questioning a lot of things in my life, how I was raised, politics, religion, and her, I think that's a country song. And when they took my son there in that parking lot of Vector County, Texas, that was it. I snapped. I don't deny it. It's pretty obvious from people who know me personally and people who just follow me on various social media, my activism. I fucking snapped, man. I don't even think I regret it. It's just not good or bad. It's just what it is. It is what it is. It happened. I'd been questioning everything, but when that happened, I was no longer a Republican. That's for damn sure. I was no longer a Christian. That's for damn sure. No longer any religion or any political affiliation. But what I find so many times is my heart starts hurting all it always does for people who have gone through what my kids and me went through. I mean, I'll always have a soft spot regardless of anything else. The thing that I have to speak out about is a lot of these people, particularly in Texas, particularly who see me, hear my hillbilly accent, and watch me do to the best of my ability, stick it to the man who is screwing me over and my children. They have the very wrong assumption that I believe very similarly to them in politics, and they have the very wrong assumption that I believe similarly to them in religion. And where I'm going with this is we are entering into a new election season. 2018, the deadbeat Attorney General Ken Paxton, Texas, barely won re-election, and he is up for re-election again in 2022, and here it is midway through 2021, the new political season is just not kicking off, people are, the people who do politics and write laws, scribble things down on paper, try to get people to vote for it and pass it and blah, blah, blah trying to get parental alienation in the language, trying to get their guy in office or their gal in office. And the, 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 the bad, the, the, the mistake that people are making is assuming that the letter next to their guy or their gal who's running for the office that they want to win that that letter, if it happens to be the one that they generally associate their overall beliefs with, they must be the good guys. And it doesn't matter if you're Republican or Democrat. It's that, that mere assumption is where you are wrong. Some people talk about this theory through just that, theoretical, reading history, ob observations. And then some people, like me, speak about it, not with authority, but with somebody who's fucking lived it. Mr. Caleb Leverett, born April 10th, Easter Sunday, 1977. Good old Republican, good old Baptist. First Baptist Church, before that Crescent Park Baptist Church. Coincidentally, both of those churches split while I was there as a child and even a young man. Anyway, I don't want to get distracted there, but... Um, 
just because your guy is a Republican and you are a Republican does not mean that the Republicans are always right. Because it is Republicans who were in office when Caleb Leverett was thrown into jail. And it is Republicans who were in office when Caleb Leverett had his money stolen. And yes, I'm speaking of myself in the third person because it's funny and it's my YouTube channel and I can do it if I want to. See how that worked? It is Republicans who kidnapped my children legally. It is Republicans who ran the jail, Sheriff Mark Donaldson, who would not let me out of jail early like he did all the other uh, peppermints. It is Republican preachers who lost one of their sheep. One of their sheep went to jail. <laughs> that didn't come see their sheep in jail. And as badly, I know this hurts. This, is, this, this hurts a lot of people when I say this, but I see that this is the truth and I speak truth as I see it. All of those people who had a hand in figuratively nuking my life and my children's young lives were all Republicans and they were all Christians. And I know for a fact that that bugs people to no end when I talk about this. And the way I know it is my family. For the vast majority, hardcore Republican, Baptist, my, none of them talk to me. Uh, Facebook friends that found me some before, some after the Parker movie went viral. The libertarian people. Oh, he's a libertarian. Cool. We like him. And we became friends over the years. And I've been more here lately, last year or two, speaking a lot more openly about my disdain for not just Christian religion, but uh, religion in general. In my humble opinion, it is all made up. And you're probably watching this if you're religious and you're thinking to yourself, Ugh, I liked you, Caleb, before you said that. That's okay. Because a lot of the Republicans, including my own family, they used to like me too when I would shut up about if I didn't agree with something in the Republican, the Republican theory. And I spoke out about that. I won't say, how do I put this? Well, just understand I know it's hard, but I believe that I'm standing on principle. If, if you think that you're going to change things just because of a party affiliation, it's not going to happen. And I'm living proof it's not going to happen. I stood up to what I saw as an injustice to my family in a county, Ector County, Texas, overwhelmingly Republican, Christian at that. And they did that to me. And it's, it's just amazing to me the people who just simply stop talking to me when I talk about this. They just simply, uh, they just won't talk to me anymore. If it's the religious thing, I genuinely think that they're scared that God might smite them. If they're Republicans, I genuinely think it's because they know I'm right, but, 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 they know I'm right, but if we say anything, Caleb, then, you know, my wife's a Republican, my husband's a Republican, my boss is a Republican, my, uh, whoever. People more or less generally believe how their peers believe, more or less. Not everything. Everybody's an individual. But more or less in a given area. If you're raised around that type, you know, it's like racism. I don't personally think that anybody is naturally born racist. I think racism is taught. Some people do not like other colors of people simply because mom and dad 
church, the school, the friends, the neighbors, the neighborhood don't like that other particular type of people either. I think it's taught. And how in the world did I get off on racism? That's the last thing I wanted to do. But anyways, please don't fool yourself thinking that just because the shitty family court crapped on you and the shitty court crapped on me that we're the same if you in fact are backing the Republicans just because they have an R next to their name because that is a mistake and you're wrong provably wrong demonstrably demonstrab how do you say that word I'm sure somebody will correct me demonstrably to be able to demonstrate wrong to think that because they're just people Greg Abbott was the Attorney General when all the hell broke loose when I first um, was a single father he's now the governor he's also Republican he's not done me any favors directly but you know what he did do and I'll give him the credit but uh, Judge Sarah Kate Billingsley Judge Sarah Kate Billingsley of the 446 District Court in Hector County, Texas, A, is the largest blessing that area has ever had as far as uh, justice in that county. But Judge, I mean, uh, Governor Abbott, regardless of what you think of him, um, he appointed her. Her position didn't even exist. Her seat did not even exist. Not like, she, she wasn't my judge when Parker was taken from me, but she was my judge when, uh, when I got my primary custody of Blaine. And regardless of what anyone says or thinks, even Republican friends or anarchist friends or even Democrat friends, uh, what you think of Governor Greg Abbott, he did a fine, fine, outstanding job of appointing Judge Billingsley. And to be honest, I don't even know what party Judge Billingsley associates with. I assume she probably associates with the Republican Party, I guess, but I'm not sure because I know some my Democrat friends personally, real life friends that are Democrats who love her. So I, I really don't know what her party affiliation, and to be quite honest, to be very honest, hence you know the reason this video, I don't care what her political affiliation is. In my not so humble opinion, in this case, Judge Sarah Kate Billingsley is one of the most outstanding human beings ever born on this earth. I firmly believe she changed my family tree. I was in a den of wolves 